Hello, welcome back to Satisfactory Update 7. This is Maker Gaming, episode 81, and we are still in the Titan Forest. I'm guessing probably two more episodes in this little area. So what have we done so far? We came up with a tree trunk. Very simple. Uh, and then the first episode, we came up with the fuel generator. Tree top. And then the next episode, we came up with the concrete which can actually do anything that's just constructor based so realize that we came up and we added two more for quartz uh, those are making both silica and uh, the quartz crystal and we still have a third one here third miner to hook up so we're going to need a third quartz tree we also have an iron back there in that corner that we'll utilize at some point something I haven't talked about is this area I actually want to make a giant tree right here that's gonna be its own episode hopefully the next one uh, so yeah my thought here is to have all the materials all the piping kind of laid out on the floor here as a giant root system kind of uh, prototype concepted here is that being one of the roots and these feeding up and so yeah, this is just going to be the inside of this area. I think it's going to be pretty wacky looking, but the point is for the outside, have a big tree, be storage, and uh, just item transfer, probably an awesome sink. And then coming out the top, we'll have more uh, fuel generators. But that's next episode. This episode, let's finish the forest. So to finish the forest, I still have a few more tree types I want to do. I want to do... So yeah, for the other one, I want to do a fluid buffer tree. I want to do a light tree and a power line tree. I think the power line tree has the most... Oh, and then also I, I thought about maybe putting canopies, some sort of leaf type structure on top of some of the trees. Just to, I've also differentiated them, like half foundations there. Roof tiles there, extra limbs there. That's a, just another way to uh, add some variety to them. I thought of maybe putting these types of uh, designs up on top. We'll see. First, let's get the other three. Oh, the other three tree types. This was also a setup I was setting up. I'll, I'll do this off camera real quick before we move on. I just wanted to get a blueprint that we could just... Uh, drop ore into and get reinforced iron plates out on site because we have that iron node over there and I want to use a lot of 120 belt oh yeah thanks for watching uh, we're just gonna be doing see so yeah, a fuel tank tree lighting tree power line tree canopy and see about a branch blueprint. Maybe I could try that first. That would be the fastest. What I want to know here is... Could we get something going... With a little more... Let's see if that fits. Uh, I want to see if I can get something with a little more precision in terms of where the where the junctions are for the pieces like I know there's tutorials out there about getting to where any angle I put this one going up uh, they line up exactly on this line okay so that could kinda work let's see what the placement would be like Especially without that. <laughs> that's where it, that's where it gets tricky and kind of what I want to know. Um, how about... That's not bad. Let's try that. That gives us a, a position. All right, that's a successful test. Um, so, time allowing, we could come up with cooler designs. 
and attach them with decent precision. Yeah, so I don't love that shape. I think it'd be better closer in. But also, what if we went out a little bit too? Okay, that's something. Tank tree. I was thinking about this, and I don't think I want to use the pillar like we've been using, the round pillar for the trunk. I think I want to use the pipes. So let's look at that for a minute. We need holes. We could either do like that going up or we can go slightly wider that would be the four inside but then we could extend out and that might be better for pumps but then is that too thick Alright, um, yeah, that's too far apart. That's why we test things. So we know we can get it straight. Also, as much as we're going for the industrial look, I do think I want the pipelines to be a brownish, yeah, kind of the fuel line color. Which works for trees. Alright, now we're just going to cap that off. For blueprint's sake. Alright, for the actual tree, we're going to want kind of this still set up a little bit. Um, just a different height. Okay, so that's not, that's not what we're looking for. So, let's dig in. Figure it out. Try and make some things correct. Okay, now that's too much, but I kind of like that look. Alright, we made a match. That's all we can do, right? As soon as it comes up. Alright, so that means for our center, can we get our center? Let's try. Oh, this will actually work perfect if we can get a beam down there. Um, foundations build perfectly on dead center of a beam. We do want to keep some of these for guides, so we'll keep the top two. Uh, that looks too high. Let's go a little lower and maybe even lower. 
There is the possibility we delete the foundation. If we delete the foundation, I want to go lower. If we keep the foundation, I want to go on that middle step. But that's what we'll look at for now. That looks correct. We got the same shape on all four edges. Now what? The easiest would be this. Oh, and do we want to get rid of that? Let's put a, another one over here in case we want to keep it. Oh no, I like that. That looks like attached, right? Yeah, we're going to go with that. So we got to figure out a way to end the other two. Okay, I doubt I'm leaving that second part, but let's just go try this out. Alright, hopefully these go together correctly. I should have colored this. Just realized those aren't going to snap together well, but that's uh, not necessary. I mean, we can easily replace the piping once it's all aligned for us. We'll do that for easier alignment. All right, that's right. We're just going to remove all this so we can pretend for a minute. See if this is in the right direction. Oh yeah. Yep, I like that one already. I'm really liking how that looks. I like that it's asymmetrical. I like that it looks like the pipes are holding it up. The one problem is this might be too close to the ground. Um, let's see what we can do. This is probably not going to work this first try. It's, it's alright though, this looks cool as hell. It's my favorite so far. This space right here. So it looks like we need to rebuild it about two up. So let's try that. Also, we wanted to feed the fuel, so why don't we come over here? Should be fairly. Let's go here ish. Uh, just because I'm thinking of the way the root system could probably work. Well, what did I say? We'll try at least two. We'll go three.
Now it sure is weird when it shows connecting like that. Hope that doesn't mean the actual pipe is messed up. Alright, let's see. If we did that, we have the two. Would that be enough? Just the two. Noodle? Yes, we could get away with noodle. Or do we want to go one more up? Actually, I kind of like that. Let's go freeform straight off. So that's good there. We just need the top. Let's get us another ladder. That seems to be easy enough. Alright, that's connected. We gotta be careful about the connections. We gotta make sure we do the connections every time, because that's not real right there. Alright, so the two real ones. Is this one coming out? So this is the one that feeds our system. So we got a tree there, we got a tree there. There's three right here we'll probably end up uh, using with this. Alright, so that's the look. We'll be coming out of this one. Probably do a trunk here-ish. Kind of show that to signify that. And it'll be coming up through there. The other through, I think we trail along to make it, make it kind of look thicker. More substantial. doesn't work. It doesn't look secure, so they have to go out in four corners. That's fine. We'll connect farther down the road. That's why we're here. Maybe we'll go here. Alright, so to make it stable, we have to go out all directions. For now, we're just going to disappear into some of these trees. For the useless halves. that there now we can kind of imagine the kind of floor we could have pipes conveyor belts I could still use something to make it look more stable maybe something flared out at the back at the bottom I think I have an idea for now though I like it a lot The unstableness of the bottom will bother me, so let's look if there's a simple enough solution I'm kind of thinking about. That's less overlapping. I think that's the type of overlapping we could probably deal with. Alright, that's more sturdy. Alright, real estate's starting to get trickier. I think I want to go here though. Alright, let's try the flared top. I 
This is something. This one needs to go a little bit off from what the others were doing. But not too much. Doesn't seem very balanced either. These should maybe be touching the ground. Harder to line up. But worth it. Technically, we could maybe go without those. Yep. A lot of extra pieces there. Yeah, that one's pretty great. I like it. No, oh, we didn't connect that one. Whoops. Or no, it's already connected. Perfect. Okay, I wasn't mic'd for this, so I'm just showing a couple 10 second clips of this hour of just clean up. This is me annoyed that the uh, production isn't moving. And then I set up an awesome snake. It's not permanent because this is where the we'll be building here, but just for now to um, get us some points. A couple more random things in the episode. I also made a wire depot out here, making wire and cable. Um, I did it all with a alpha spitter chasing after me. It was uh, I don't know. There's something entertaining about the chaos of that building uh, while you're being chased. So I'll throw a little bit of time lapse of <laughs> it's like 15 minutes of being chased around. Oh yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, we're just going to be doing the basic recipe. So we need 30 in, 60 in. So we're just going to do one each. This one overclocked to 120%. This one to 150%. And so we just need, I believe, 60. Yeah, 60 in gets a minute coming in. So let me just finish that up. Alright, we're going with fairly tight. Uh, splitters and mergers just uh, to give us a little bit of walking room if we ever need to come in these rooms uh, I'm thinking of this type of blueprint is just something that I go and lay down on a site when I need something all right so that's a reinforced iron plate Alright, I think that's good enough. I don't even think I need a roof. Alright, so now we know the answer to this. We need 60 in. And we'll get 5 out. Alright, sorry about that. Um, the whole reason for that is because we needed the blueprint designer to start on the next tree type, but before that, might as well. Let's get that going. Alright, so now all we have to do, anywhere we are, 
Um, avoid those guys. Where'd he go? This guy's a little glitchy. Oh, no, I should have just left him there. Alright, you know me. I like to build um, with the danger. Where's my color? Alright, we just gotta get him to move. Where are our inputs and outputs? Do we care that some of it's gonna be... Alright. Easy. Don't mind us. That thing's set. Did anything come out? No, and we're above ground. We nailed it. Uh, this guy needs to move. And this guy needs power. And everybody lives. No thanks to that guy. Relentless. Alright, that's done. We'll just have to assume our design worked because the spitter. I'm sure it worked. Alright, if I had to guess my editing. I did a bunch of work uh, without my microphone on. So I probably did a time lapse and I think I should just end it here. Two things I wanted to do though. I want to add a couple of layers. I mean all we have to do is put a foundation across and then we could just stack that because uh, it's only taking 60 so we can put as many as that miner will allow us to and then also I wanted to go see about the oil just peek at the location basically uh, what do we need maybe we'll do another glass layer we're going from the steel All right, we're keeping the same positioning. We're just trying to line it up. I think that's it. Please be it. That would be awful to remove. This works for me. That's probably not going to... Killing it. Guys. That should be good. So yeah, all that planning, all that kind of screwing around was kind of checking on like the root system. It's a work in progress. Alright, so that basically wraps it up. Got that up to 10 a minute. We got our oil. Uh, fuel tank tree We did not get to the power tree, but I did we'll just take a glance at the oil uh, This is where we're gonna pull the oil from and actually I think I want to do that the next episode Let's start getting more power on to make this uh, endeavor worth something And I did watch the stream with Hannah um, So I kind of know I should see where the oil is Midair. They showed where the oil was. I kind of guess where I need to build to stay away from the update 8 move of the resources. Yep, so basically behind it was where you couldn't go. So I think we'll just kind of put them down, face them out this way. 
and we'll run it somewhere and we'll build a small little refinery and get the fuel over there get those trees uh, powered up so that's what we'll start as soon as we come back next time thank you all for watching and yeah see you soon that ground looks pretty cool I've never actually looked at it too much Got close to dying in this episode multiple times.